What's going on? How are you guys today? Just got down to the warehouse and my guys are telling me that the lights went out about 10 minutes ago. Uh, so <laughs> I don't really know uh, what we're gonna do here today. It's kind of weird because everything else is working. Like the freezer's on, all the other power's on. So I'm assuming it's just the fuse that blew for the lights, which I have no idea how to fix. I turned everything off, I turned everything on. I messed around with it a little bit. Uh, but I got an electrician coming probably be here within half an hour so I uh, will see what the damage is but outside of that uh, the deal on the property did not end up going through last week it's supposed to happen again this week they're supposed to meet on Thursday so <laughs> you know I, I'm still holding my breath to see what happens but uh, it, it does look like it's a done deal but again as I said last week I don't want to jump the gun yet I don't want to say anything so it's, it's gonna be like another week delay until I have that conversation with you guys, which is very relevant to what's going on with the future of the business. Uh, meat supply wise, uh, things don't look good uh, from like a, a distribution supply chain perspective, which is what we'll also talk about later. But I mean, let me try to get some stuff done and uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Yeah, I mean, the freezer is on. You guys could hear the condensers, but the lights up here aren't working in the front or the back. so. Could be worse. Thankfully, it's bright outside and we have the door open. Otherwise, we'd be in a dungeon. So we got about 35 meat orders from Sunday. So I'm probably going to be in the freezer for about an hour. Not really looking forward to that. Uh, but we also got to do maybe like 20 or 30 Frankie's Free Range Foods orders and like 20 organ supplements orders uh, for the post office pickup today. I'm kind of sweating, so I think I'll hop in the freezer first, get the misery over with, and then uh, we'll do everything else. Hopefully the Electrician is here sooner than later. Oh man, I'm just over everything. Like the last 10, 15 things I asked my meat supplier to get me, they couldn't get. Uh, you know, the styrofoam vendors rose their prices. Everything's going up like crazy. Like I'm ordering the same amount of dry ice every week that I used to fill like 150 orders. And now the allegedly same amount of dry ice I can only fill 100 orders with. So I'm like looking at buying a floor scale, which is a few thousand dollars to weigh this. It's just, it, it, it never ends every single week. So <clears throat> just trying to get some relief somewhere, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Back in this godforsaken fucking freezer. I have no idea about this electrical work. This is so stupid. So we got one, two, three, four, five, like 30 more orders to do. I'm just exhausted. I don't want to do this shit today. These are the orders that I got ready over the weekend. What I do is the green crate means we need extra ice because it's going three day shipping. And then the black crates can get sent tomorrow if we have time. But we got quite a few orders to get out today to finish. We're running low on beef belly, two pound portions. Uh, but we do have the larger beef belly portions. We did get the whole brisket in stock, which you guys have been buying pretty quickly. We got the new eight ounce tenderloin, I think I showed you guys that, and plenty of sirloin filet steak, the four ounce small portion sirloin filet. So if you guys would like that, we got plenty. Way too much sirloin actually. I'll probably give this away next week, I'm guessing. They're running low on the Wagyu strip steaks. Probably be out of them within a couple weeks. I did get some whole short ribs in that are a bit more affordable than the, the two pound portions. So if you guys want roughly six pound portion short ribs, we have them. Uh, we have the 90-10 ground beef, we have the 85-15, the 80-20, we have 95-5, and I got a deal on some 93-7 last week, so we have 93-7 in as well. We're still doing the 85-15 ground beef promo for another week. You get two pounds free ground beef with your order. This is the, uh, the whole beef belly that we still have, maybe six or seven slabs left of. Way too much beef tongue. You know, I wanted to buy this to get it for you guys, but the problem is that it's more of a winter food and people don't eat it that much. You know, same with the picanha. I bought a ton of picanha. Hopefully we can move through it pretty quickly. Running low on beef organs. Um, I'm assuming my suppliers can get me some. You know, I've worked very hard over these past few months just to try to get some key items in stock that you guys enjoy just to keep the order volume high because, you know, although I have a lot of loyal customers, you know, when I run out of things for periods of time, people will go shop elsewhere and that really kills business. So let me finish these orders and uh, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. 
I'm still trying to think in my head what would have triggered those lights to go off because I did turn off all the other like the high power stuff and it's still not working I mean I don't think like a neighboring building pulling power would, would cause that issue I don't think that's on the list of possibilities I don't know it's like extra cold in there today I ate at 2 a.m. last night I was hoping I would have enough energy to get through just an hour or two of work but I think I'm gonna have some of that crappy jerky and chocolate just so I don't feel like I'm gonna pass out so I've spent the last 45 minutes with this electrician and right when we started looking at this, I realized that this whole panel wasn't working because all the lights up here are connected specifically to this panel and nothing on this panel worked, including the gate to my garage door. So that panel up there is connected to the breaker that was right here. So the guy is going to replace the breaker. It was only, I think, like a 20 volt breaker. It's supposed to be higher, like 40 or 60 volt. And the guy was also telling me that the electric is probably going into my neighbor's building. I might be paying some of my neighbor's electric. I'm not really sure on that because he's telling me my electric bill is way too high. Now, because I wasn't sure about the electric bill and why it wasn't so high, I haven't been paying Con Edison for the past few months, which to my understanding is okay because they can't turn off the electricity due to COVID, so I'm not too worried about it. Although uh, a questionable way to run a business. However, uh, we'll see what this guy wants to replace the breaker and he was also going to give me a quote on replacing the whole panel and, and finding out where each of these breakers go to but and this ties into you know seeing if that property gets sold i don't really want to spend more money on this facility i could spend all my profits just fixing shit that needs to be fixed around here so we'll see i still got to get those orders in the freezer done and maybe we'll just do the foods and the organ supplements orders tomorrow so I don't lose my mind. So it wasn't actually the breaker. I had a feeling it was the line myself, so we're probably gonna have to run a line. You want me to put the tester on it? No, no, it's fine. So we're gonna, op we gotta, you're gonna open this up and, and run yeah, a new line the from, from the, the panel down to the other yeah, panel? Yeah, like, how is it? See? Okay. Okay, yeah. so see here. One line is working and the other line is dead. Yeah. You see the tester? Yeah, yeah. See this one working and this is dead. Yeah. But I can give it for now temporary for you can have some lights on it. Yeah, just From swap that, that over. No, 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 just for temporary. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. we have to run line. Okay. Because it's too much power. So the guy wants like $900 to do the new breaker and to run a new commercial line from the upstairs panel to the downstairs panel, which is a pretty fair price from an electrician perspective. But, you know, this is one of the main reasons I just, I I'm so sick of doing this business and I'm sick of everything because every time something goes wrong, it's like another thousand dollars. Like last week I had to pay $4,000 to renew the ridiculous insurance policy on this building. I'm just not making any money. And it's, it's literally something completely new and unexpected every week. You know, this guy's got to saw through the fucking floor, run, run a whole new line. Th this, this is like aluminum and this is copper. And, and this is so brittle that literally snapping off when I'm trying to put them in the breaker. So, you know, the 50-year-old Chinese electrical work in this shithole of a warehouse is, is starting to uh, make me pay a lot of money for it. So it's already around 2 o'clock. I was supposed to be out of here. And these guys are probably going to take an hour, an hour and a half to do this. So I'm going to finish the rest of the orders in the freezer. I'll do the foods orders and the organ supplements orders today, hopefully. And I try to get out of here early because if I wait till 3 or 4 o'clock, I'm going to sit in my car for two hours getting out of this shithole city back north a little bit. So whatever. Hopefully uh, I don't have an excuse to get rid of this shit next week. So we're still in the dark. I'm going to do the foods orders today. We went downstairs. We did all the organ supplements orders. I just got some Wagyu beef tallow here, some whey protein, cod liver oil, salts, all my boxes, everything here ready to go. It's about 3.30 right now. This uh, electrician is still working. I think what actually happened was uh, the, the rats of New York City put out a hit on my electrical line because last week I ran over a rat while pulling into my, uh, my facility and... Uh, we had a fatality, so. Man, don't you love New York City? Jesus Christ. I'm guessing they're just uh, retaliating against, uh, against Frankie Syringe me for doing that. So now I'm gonna be out like $1,000 in electrical bills, all because I ran over a rat. I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm sweating my guts out in here. I got like four shirts on, it's 85 degrees outside. I should have been tanning today, 
Uh, but it's about four o'clock and I was not supposed to be down here this long, mainly because I really had to get on my computer and, and contact my meat distributors and place some orders to see what I can get my hands on this week. Now, I'm gonna have to do that as soon as I get home and hopefully get a response early tomorrow morning and see, see what I can restock. It's not that big of a deal. I'd just be more comfortable knowing what I can get and what I can't get. So we got most of the orders out today. Electrician is still uh, holding me hostage here, so we'll see how much longer that takes. But we'll come in tomorrow. We'll do a handful of orders, probably relax most of the day. I'll try not to lose my mind, but um, we'll save that for next week. So thank you guys for joining. You know the deal. I don't feel like repeating it today. So thanks again. I'll see you guys tomorrow.